So 2K dropped the city trailer today, man, and I'm telling y'all, man, this thing looks amazing, man. Entering the city. Well, listen, well, this is how we're gonna do this. We're gonna go through. I'm gonna make some comments here and there. Once we get all the way through, we're gonna come through. We're gonna slow it down. Slow it down. I just dished you. When we do that, we'll slow it down. Come back through. Look at what we saw. Bag some stuff up frame by frame. Talk about the stuff. You know, just see what I see. See if y'all see the same thing as what I see. And then after that, we're going to do the courtside report real quick. I'm going to let y'all get up out of here, man. So if y'all don't do nothing else, man, make sure y'all like the video before we get started. Because this thing looking good, man. Hey, give me a like for how 2K looking. I'm seeing some stuff. I want to comment on it. But I think I feel like I'm going to have to stop the video in order to really comment on it, man. So I'm going to let it rock, man. Hey, this, it is what it is. Hey, rest in peace, Bill Russell, man. One of the greatest to ever do it, man. Hey, rep your hood, boy. We going into the we going into the lion's den right here, boy. Into the castle gates. This this might be more like the lion's den, boy. Out here, out here on the prairie, the crucible. I'm nicknaming it the crucible. When you going to the beast of the east, it's the crucible, and then the belly of the beast, the snake den, baby. And like you see, we see right here, we see him going in. Uh, you know. Going in, it's MJ looking like Antonio Brown right there, bro. And, uh, you know, they just showing that you got Kendrick Perkins on the TV. We're not going to stop anything and do it, but once we get done, you know, hey, look at the LeBron James powder toss, baby. Let's get it. Find greatness, man. That's what they're telling us you, you, you'll be able to do on NBA 2K23. Hey, the Jordan edition, baby. 23-23, man. Hey, look, it is what it is. And like I said, it's, it's mainly for PlayStation. So this is where we gonna go. Now that we've gone through it, we're going to stop the video here. And uh, we gonna, we just gonna stop it randomly, talk about some stuff. Then we're gonna hit that courtside report. We're gonna let y'all get up out of here. First thing you know, you got buildings. Building looks good. The city looks good. D-Book is on the mural. Will that be our face on the mural? Will we be able to do that? I don't know. The Beast of the East, looking, looking dope. Vipers looking dope. You know, you got the Knights or what have you, man. They really go going with the themes. And then we got, uh, you know, yeah, you had the uh, Wildcats. You got the Jordan murals there. You see two back, like two, three, deal with four, five. You know what I'm talking about? We got the Jays on there. Jays on my feet. Uh, what is it, Jays? I'm on the Patron, so get like me. Meet me at the trap. It's going down. Look at that. You see, uh, she got the stores. We got the bridge coming back. We got the Jays. This is something that a lot of people don't care. I don't care for, and it really doesn't bother me that it's in the game, but it's going to make for some dope. That's thumbnails, and that's the robot head, bro. This robot head, you're gonna see this again on your boy or what have you. You see, we got that, we got some gear, you know. We see, we got some A1s right here. These, some I think these just what different, different eras of the Jays right here. I'm not a shoe aficionado, I wear Pumas, I ain't gonna cap just because my feet so big, so you know it is what it is. But you got the murals, like you said, you got here the city, the Vipers, Beast of the East. Uh, and like I said, this is gonna be some dope. Maybe that's something like this is just some of the gear that we can get, and I think it's cool. Also, uh, can we skip backwards? I don't want to skip back too far. Also, uh, these are just some of the like let's like say they just showcase some of the dances that you'll be able to get, man. And uh, you know, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do the gritty or not, but uh, it's gonna be cool. Hey, here we go. Move fast through the city. We finally have fast travel. Somebody said that they that this they said the the subway station should be fast travel stations so we don't have to do the thing where you gotta what well, we used to do the joint where we would we would go in uh you know you pick your fast travel spot or pick your spawn in spot go out and come back in you shouldn't have to pay for that it should just be what it is man so you know you got see right here you got night station b station viper station wildcats then you got the block the block is right here in the middle i guess is where all the stores and stuff gonna be north station um north station and then you got uh the arena Event center, so you can go straight to the event center. Where the event center? Well, we right when we said the event center, we were wrong. Oh no, no, we were right. The event center is here, and then uh, so you got the West Mall station. Hey, if, if y'all already know, y'all know about that West End Mall. Y'all might want to stay off from over there, but if you ain't from the A, stay out of the West. Don't don't go to West End Mall. I'm never gonna be here in the West End Mall. I'm from Atlanta though, so I can go over there. And then we got the Boulder Crest Mall. I mean Boulder. Uh, this this the East Side Boulder Crest right here, man. So. Hey, we're going to see what it is, man. Oh, is that? No, nah, my bad. That's South of Cab Mall on the east side. Hey, I'm just messing with y'all, man. Y'all know. this. I'm letting my Atlanta show. But uh, the block. So this is the block. Y'all see, this is kind of like where everybody's going to play play the game, do you know, do their stuff like that. Uh, just just the regular stuff. They they seem to have shrunk it down a lot um, because that city square that we had last year 
was much bigger. So you know it is what it is. You see him fast traveling, coming up out of there, straight into Annie up. Annie up! Yeah, that fool. So you see Annie up. Maybe it's gonna be full time. We don't know. You see the Plaza. Plaza, we got all the brands. Uh, 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 Puma, New Balance, Converse, Mikey, the Mikey Nikes, and then regular Nike, man. Hey, am I showing my age saying Mikey's Nikes? Cause I know we, you know, hey, anyway, uh, you know, you got Club 2K, that's coming back. The, uh, what was that right there? There was the Jordan something right here. So you had the little Jordan, I don't know if this is just the Jordan store, it's gonna be the, the Jordan Rex, and I, I don't know. But, Club 2K, you know, you got you got your thing, you got the little VC cover charges, you gotta pay to get in and all that. And it says, meet up at the theater. And the theater, like, that's just gonna be the events right here, and it's got the events uh, of what we talking about, you know, you got cages is here, but cages here to stay. Ain't they not? They're never going anywhere. So y'all already know what that is. Uh, one v one park in the bank and hustle. They're gonna explain what all these game types are. I tried to read them off of there, but y'all already know that that we weren't able to do that. And then play when you want. I can't see exactly what that says up there, bro. Like, but it just says, I, I don't know. I can't. I can't really read it. But it says come. So maybe that's what we gonna be doing. And y'all see what them boys playing that? You really are playing on the stage, baby. You really are on the stage. This is center stage right here. You got a whole theater and a crowd watching you play right there, man. So when people saying they playing stage, we really playing stage, bro. Yes. Hey, that's, I mean, that's dope, man. Like I said, all the stuff surrounding the game. Reggie Bullock haircut, I forgot to say that. They are really trying to emphasize that we got some more different um some different haircuts and stuff in here man going to the rec center the first thing i noticed was that what is this all right and then i said well maybe that's just a little tip off move or whatever right there are we gonna be able to do look at this what what is that bro is that a little is that a little razzle that are we gonna be able to get a little bit loose in the wreck is it gonna be a little razzle dazzle or something like that like i said that could have been the tip off move but that that looked like more of a more of something else and then he, he goes to the rim dunk that thing and hit him with a little bit of that Vince Carter point to the sky, man. So, you know, it is what it is. That's a my player thing, man. And we got the crowd like we wanted it in the wreck, and they got the elevated crowd as well, man. Almost like um, almost like the Pro-Am out there uh, at, uh, what is it? The Drew League almost kind of like that. We got the Kobe Court, man. Never going to die Kobe Court, man. It's always going to be there, the Mamba Court, uh, you know, Hey, 824, man, 248, man. You know what I'm talking about? We on this thing on 824. We gonna be on the 248. Um, I don't know if anybody's gonna go to the court. It looks like it only got three got next spots now. And that's confirmed by the fact that we only see, let me see how many people we saw up there. We, we only see one, two, three, four, five, six. So I don't know if that's gonna be like something. And it looks like it's a little bit more closed off. Um, Like it's, like it's got a, a block around it. So. We're gonna see if anybody goes there. Again, you got more more scoreboard, not more, more scoreboards. You got more boards up, billboards, more more opportunity for um, advertisement for 2K. The Bill Russell Memorial. Hey man, hey. I ain't got nothing bad to say, man. I ain't got nothing to say, man. There's greatness right there. And it's got a quote from him, and he just said, "I can't read the whole thing." That the most important measure. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know. The, I don't know the quote, but I know that's a quote that he had, man. So, you know, it is what it is. Rep your hood. Rep your put your hood up. Knights, you're going into a castle, baby. Look at that right there. Can we can we scroll that back real quick? Look at how nice that looks, though, man. It looks like you inside the castle wall. Feel like I'm on Castle Rock, man. You know what I'm talking about? Game of Thrones. Anybody can get it. And you see this, uh, what? A couple of twos courts and the rest of them are threes out there playing. Dunking that thing, Wildcats, you going right into the Wildcats den. You know, you got the Prairie Dog, uh, the Prairie Dog den. You got the, the windmills up there. We doing windmills with the windmills. We got more billboards. There's more opportunities for 2K to, um, to, to advertise. I wish the mayor thing was back, man. I thought that was dope, but you know it is what it is. Into the Crucible, where the Beast of the East play. This thing here looks so fire, no pun intended. More billboards, which is more opportunities for 2K to sell app, sell us as advertisement. Super dope. Don't got no problem with it because it keeps the VC prices and all that stuff down, man. So you know it is or does. I don't know, man. It is what it is. But check it out. Look, we got 
we got the the fire and this joint fire man we got lava flowing all over the place and it's just people gonna be playing the game we got the twos the threes courts and all that coming off the screen that, that's that stuff play that you'll never see in 2k somebody coming off the screen on their handoff uh pin down handoff come up top trays up splash down and into the belly of the beast where we find the vipers trays up Splash down three ball. The, the Viper court is dope though, man. I like the dual Cobra head. I mean the dual Viper heads or what have you. Uh, again, we got more billboards. At least it, it spread out more more opportunities for advertisement. I, I, I seriously don't have a problem with it though, man. I ain't gonna lie. I understand that they, they, they that the, the city is never going away now that it's here because it is a living, breathing advertisement. And like like I said, bro, I understand how these games are monetized and this is like a social network right now this is what 2k look at us as so i mean i ain't mad that it is what it is at the end of the day somebody talked about it a, uh, a while ago i think it was lakers fan blimps confirmed leak 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 blimps confirmed and uh you know you're just going into the player interest right now and uh looking like antonio brown hold up hold up looking like antonio brown maybe the storyline is gonna be you know you're gonna be on the bulls and you trying to bring him back to greatness, man. That jacket is tough, though. I'm trying to, look, he's got all the years that you won. And then on the back, he's got, you know, you got the GOAT. And then you got the six titles right there, man. You got the event center, um, the arena, the arena tunnel, locker room, and then press conference or whatever. So living, breathing uh, place. We got uh, Kendrick Perkins on the on the joint, man. Look like DeMar Rosen walking in. And y'all getting ready for a meeting or something like that, man. And then... You just getting ready for the game coming out the tunnel uh like you said hey we got the powder toss right now bro i sincerely hope the powder toss is is indicative of them bringing back standing animations because i've been having to go back to 2k21 in order to get my standing animations you know the stuff that i put at the beginning of the joint so maybe we're gonna have these standing in the neighborhood animations again with the dances and stuff like that man we're gonna see how that go and uh like you said you see the uh powder toss lebron powder toss uh, fireworks going off. We don't know if that's the end of something or the beginning of something. Uh, the reason I'm saying that is because you see right here, it's got the uh, it's got the affiliations right there, and I don't know if they're gonna kind of announce who won or whatever. But I know one thing: we are gonna find greatness. And then TKO is back, so we can get them gloves back. Them gloves was tough, man. If you rocked with them gloves, man, y'all let me know, man. Uh, and then, like I said, bro, we got a couple of tweets, and then we're gonna let that play in the background. A couple of tweets, a little information, and then we're gonna get up out of here, bro. I'm gonna let y'all up out of here, man. Hey, check it out. Look, get ready for the city. And like I said, the whole, the whole, the whole thing, we just watched that. That boy running 2K said, this is what greatness looks like. And it's just a little, it's just showing you the four courts, but we already went through that. Um, we got the boy Steven Screw says, Jay Easy, the legend grind is bike. Didn't you say something about that the other day? I was saying that we should, I, we, we want some type of persistent rep or whatever. He said, you should ask 2K to give you a million dollars and see if that work. I ain't gonna lie, man. I wanna try it, my boy. And then we got my boy Shay, you know, people out of the new affiliations and all of that, the city, the city, uh, which one are you joining? Y'all already know I'm going to the Crucible, the Beast of the East, AKA Stage Light, bro. That's where I'm gonna be at. And then we gonna talk about some of the stuff in the courtside report, the stuff that I felt like was important. And then we gonna get up out of here. First things first, I pop and freak saw the honey. Look, city, 30% smaller in comparison to what you have traversed in NBA 2K22, which was about, 10% smaller than 21. Uh, this allows for a tighter, more meaningful city with less un unused buildings that serve to increase the distances between uh, locations. Fast travel scattered around the city are subways, subway stations that you can hop into at any time quickly to go, uh, to go quickly around the city. Finding the nearest fast travel is easy no matter where you are. Simply press R1 on the PlayStation controller and we will place a ping. Okay, so that's dope. So you don't have to hit the map anymore. Uh, press R1 on the controller, we'll place a ping on the nearest on the nearest one and guide you directly to it. Once there, you can select to instantly travel to any other fast, I mean, to any other fast travel st a location in the city. Traveling is instantaneous. There is literally no loading on it. And I feel like, I mean, I think this is gonna be good, man. Hopefully it's gonna be one of them things where where it's like, I know traveling is gonna be instantaneous, but I want it to not only be instantaneous, but I wanna be in the same server. Will we be in the same server? Will we be something else? Will it even work? We've had these server refresh joints. Uh, we've had the, the train station to serve as a server refresh for years. It never has worked. 
hopefully i'm sure they got it this time i'm, I'm going in this thing um with the with the open mind and, and knowing that 2k know what they're doing they had the time to do it this year they got it they got it popping man affiliations in the boroughs like we said we got the south city vipers going to the snake mouth this is what it looks like man you know all of them take inspiration from all of these joints take inspiration from from whatever they were the north side knights looking like you know what i'm saying you like i said looking like castle rock you inside the castle or what have you uh you in the middle ages the western wildcats uh we i would say west side wildcats but you know they out west pack we packed our things and we headed out west so you know you got the courts or whatever windmills little western theme little westernized theme what have you like that i'm digging it and then you got the crucible the beast of the east man you go into the the, the mouth right here and then you're inside the belly, belly of the beast and hopefully these joints will um i don't know if it says that they're going to change um if they're going to be seasonal hopefully it'll be super dope if they change seasonally but you know we're gonna see how it goes man like we said the landscape uh let me see in the integrated seamless into the landscape of the city that they're not saying if it's gonna change seasonally it'll be dope if it did i'm sure they're gonna change the courts and stuff but you know we're gonna see how that goes man that's the beast of the east the block the block is law uh, you know said located in the exact center of the city is our newly created mecca of competition the block here you'll find all of your favorite ways to play compete and uh and in case in one community driven initiative i mean initiative the block features the theater so we got the theater you got the pro-am you got the rec any up club 2k uh the black lives matter court and the kobe court which is now three on three that's three on three pro-am is the only thing that they're showing is five on five one thing i want to know though bro that they that they missed out on um I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see it say anything about the Gatorade facility. Gatorade gone? Leak, 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 leak. No, no, no. We know, we know, we know Gatorade is going to be there, bro. It's going to have to be there somewhere. I don't see it on here, but you're going to have to be able to work out in the Gatorade facility and get it because Mike says you are going to get your plus fours. Uh, he didn't say how we're going to get those plus fours, but hey, we're going to get the plus fours. Uh, up next, the theater. Uh, I really buried, it's really big. I really buried the lead in this, you know what I'm saying? Look, man, in the theater, this is gonna be something like the event center, but I guess this is gonna be like the event center all leak. I really buried the lead on this uh, this one above. Previously, the theater is about to become a new favorite place to play in the city, replacing the warehouse. Okay, to replacing the warehouse uh, buildings that are scattered throughout the city. This one central location will serve as a dynamic way to play instant matchmaking. The theater building is set up thematically to look like a movie theater from the outside, once the, uh, on the exterior of the building, and four giant movie posters that detail the four events that are taking place inside the theater at the current moment. Upon entering the theater itself, you will find yourself in the lobby where you simply enter uh, you, you know, you simply enter an auditorium to play, whatever. And then, so the first thing we got, hey, week one, this is what we got. I don't know if it said, let me see. Uh, my favorite aspect of the theater is the dynacism. Uh, every Friday morning, Pacific time, the four event playlist will completely swap out to the four new events. This means you will be playing a steady stream of new and rotating events uh, each week. So that's dope right there, man. The first week, losers out. That's gonna be dope. So this can this can serve as a litmus test for what we can do, and we don't even know. You know what I'm talking about. So this is dope. So do we like certain game modes or not? They can see what's the most played game mode, and we can see you know what it's gonna do. Losers out. A two a two v two experience where you can come along on. I mean, we can come along or bring your friend. Only catch is the name implies the opposing team gets possession after the made basket. That, bro. That is so dope. Think about that. Losers out. Two on two matchmaking? Bruh, two on two v two matchmaking. That's dope. That's dope, man. We, we've been looking at that. And you can bring a friend, so that's gonna be cool. Don't go in there by yourself. The hustle, a three on three experience where you can come along or bring your friends. Hustle features a 12 second shot clock to keep a non-stop lightning fate, lightning pace. Uh, play gameplay or whatever so you can play along or bring your friends big W for 2k all right then we got the other one this one here dope comp squads only 
comp, the 3v3 comp, squads only. A 3v3 experience where you bring your own crew. Uh, sure to be a favorite for the for the true true K two true two K vet. Comp modes bring competitive game tuning to the table where only the strongest will survive. Time to sweat. So if you're complaining about, eh, I don't like going to the stage. The stage is so super rookie. It's so easy at the stage. This is really a ass. All that stuff. I ain't trying to hear it. If you really comp and you really talking about your comp, you shouldn't even be in stage. You should be in comp squats only. That's where you should be at. That's what a real comp should be. But and you're gonna be on the real stage. But guess what? They're not gonna do that. Why? Because it says it is tuned to a more competitive level. And people ain't trying to do that. We just wanna cap about what we wanna do. And then rookie, rooks, no squads. And that's the 303 experience where squads aren't, aren't allowed. A great place to level up your my player. The only players allowed uh, entrance are those rated 75 and under. So the three on three, you're not gonna be able to uh, go on there. We can't stay in the warehouse no more. That's a little bit of an L, cause like when you, if you're a streamer, and this is for the first week though, but if you're a streamer and you ain't had nobody to play with, it was cool to be able to hit that warehouse. So, you know, um, it's dope. Last thing but not least, you know, and then and said this kind of format, that we're gonna hit this back. This kind of format is creative, creating new games, blah, blah, blah. I don't really want to detail everything we we have uh, up our sleeve this year, but here are a few events. So you got double or nothing, earn XP when you win, don't get no XP when you lose. So double XP when you win, you get nothing when you lose. In the bank, shut down your opponent and set down an opponent uh, and a point is added to the vault. First team to hit from behind the arc will win the collection of the current balance. Bring your perimeter defenders here. Cool, pull and wait. Every player on the team must combine towards their offensive uh, off offense. Must com must combine must contribute toward their offense equally. More on this when it comes out. And living the dream, my player will play to their true potential. Attributes and badges are maxed out for the bill during this event. So you go in there living the dream, man, you can see what your dude really can do, man. That's gonna be dope as because you're gonna be able to go in there, make a bill, is this bill gonna be I don't know, but I'm gonna go to living the dream, max everything out, and we gonna get it in. And we gonna see if this, if this dude can really be a demigod or not. That's a big W for 2K, man. This is something that you, I wish they would put it out the first week. So we can play on these bills and kind of see what they what their max potential is before we did. But hey, I, I'm feeling it, man. At least they did it, man. And then you know, more or less, man. That's really all we got, bro. Uh, we got the arena, uh, and he said these can be configured. Uh, for example, uh, I mean, these can be configured in different and unique ways. Examples: two v two, three v three, five v five, squads only, no squads, level forty vipers. There are actually a lot of game types and I'm keeping some of my personal favorites under wraps until uh, till next week, until their week arrives. So, you know, let's like say they got these joints and they're gonna be tuned. The flexibility of the theater is something that we are, that we've never, um, never had before. And we really hope it's an experience that everybody can get with. Then you just got the arena, man, which is, uh, you know, this is just gonna be the my career joint uh, city on the lunch day. Blah 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 blah. Uh, upon upon using your upon upon using your players only entrance, you will find yourself in an all new arena in NBA 2K23 that allows you to prepare for upcoming NBA game uh, games. Perform a Russell Westbrook esque fashion walk. You know, you can just do all the stuff. So pretty much all the stuff that was in the city, you're gonna be able to just do it in the arena. And that's really what we got, man. Like everything else is, it just is what it is. I don't wanna make this too long. Close remarks, I could have been more, I couldn't have been more excited. I couldn't be more excited with what the team here at Visual Concepts has created. Uh, you know, like I said, bro, we just got all this stuff right here, but the only thing I really care about is whether or not the gameplay is good. All this other stuff, the ancillary thing seem great. I'm with it, I'm digging it, but can we just get a good game? That's it. If we got a good game, I ain't got no problem with it, man. But if we don't have good gameplay, this is all for not. I gotta be honest. As excited as I am about this, if we don't have good gameplay, it is all for not. You have to surround an awesome core with all the ancillary features. You can't have awesome ancillary features and think it's gonna make up for a core. That's all we're saying, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, man. Make sure y'all leave a like, uh, subscribe if you're new. 
Uh, watch one of these other videos that's popping up here, man. And I'm going to holler at I, I recommend this one right here. And I'm going to holler at next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, please. Guys, please.